All right. If anyone has a suggestion for the type of character they'd like me to make, feel free to throw it in chat. Oh, how about that? You guys can't see the cutscene. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men Strange. which brought the darkspawn into our world. <laughs> the mages had sought to hear usurp it. heaven, <laughs> but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. May even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Oh, would you look at that? Can you see the screen whatsoever? Because it says to me that you're looking at a loading screen. Let me try to re... Check for the game. Here we go. Interesting. I am going to restart the game. See if that'll help. Give me one sec.
Alright, so look, the game just breaks there for the stream. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see if it loads after I make my character. Greetings. So you guys can't see what I'm doing. Interesting. I suppose it'll just have to be a surprise what character I make. We'll work with one of the presets. How about that? I've always found that this mustache was fun, so we'll go with that. I have lost the spell. How do you do? Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. How do you do? That's a better voice. Uh, we're going to be playing a dual wield rogue, in case you're interested. I've always found them the most fun to play. We'll be playing on normal difficulty. All right, now it loads. Weird. Game just doesn't like to stream the intro, apparently. We will be playing a human noble. That's what I went with. It's my favorite. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyavar, there it goes again, earning the loyalty the of your people scene. with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. Right. I'm gonna try one more attempt. Let's go with that. Let's do a workaround. Let's go with that. We go here. And here. Boop. Done. And the stream really doesn't like Dragon Age. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. So I can go this way. There we go. Out time.
All right, how do we want to do this? I think we'll be playing a uh we'll be playing a rogue. Let's do a a honorful rogue. How about that? You know, the Han Solo type is a very popular fucking archetype. So we we'll do and you, Arl Howe. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. We'd like that. Good. She's talked about you ever since she saw you at a fair in Denerim. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Let's do... Number one. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Let's go with... They defeated the Darkspawn Not long ago. I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Yeah, I have no interest. Well, Duncan, he is not interested. So unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription... Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? No problem. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Where is Upstairs he? in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Okay, let's do it. But first, we loot every corner of this castle. Evening, my lord. Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all! Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Let's go with... Well, how would this character react? Perhaps later. There may not be another time. Then fine. Please, child. Call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Your faith is silent tonight. I hope you are just deep in reflection. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. Sure. It is the least I could do. If the worst comes to pass, child, take comfort in knowing that the Maker's will takes many forms. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. All right. 
back to looting. Always gotta check the books to get your XP. Good evening, my lord. Going. Aha. Plenty of stuff to unlock. Oh, my lord, we were just, uh... Playing cards. Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the town stationed us here. Yeah, don't worry about it. We appreciate that, my lord. Thank you. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Mm. Yeah, she's just blown off steam. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Yeah, I guess that I'll go get them. Before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Uh, to the kitchen. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Good evening, my lord. We'll do this first. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. Still the same. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson. Sure. Perhaps you could make the topic more palatable for these lads <laughs> and their minuscule intellects. I doubt it's possible. Unfortunate, but as you wish. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Don't ask myself all this. Why do you do this? <laughs> good evening, my lord. Let's go down here first. And I'm off. Uh, we will be up very late tonight giving you our <laughs> All right. Alright, that's it for this direction. To Nan we go.
Good evening, my lord. To retrieve our faithful Mabari Hound. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, mm. calm down, good woman. We've Break come out. to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Maybe you should be put down. What? That monster is in my larder, slobbering all over the bacon, and you're insulting me? Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. We'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. All right, let's do it. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Hmm, what a smart boy. Oh, encourage the hound, why don't you? No wonder he keeps giving Nan fits. He does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? All right, what are we gonna name this dog? How about Maxwell? And now we got some rats. Not enough. Giant Easy. Rats. It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Indeed. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Mm -hmm. Those were rats from the Kokari Wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing I'll as you've got the Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Yeah, no. He was defending it from what? rats. Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment. Yes? Adney, get moving with those casts. Mm -hmm. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the turn with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old bat. Old bat, am I? We've got to work double time on supper. Sweep out the hearths and no complaining. Don't even mention that. <laughs> These two will run like a pair of frightened kittens, and then where will I be? Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. He is. Don't start with me. You've gotten all you're getting today. But what about you, my lord? Been keeping safe and well behaved, I hope. Well, it's convenient. To be truly good is doing right by others, even when it doesn't suit you. 
Do you remember that bedtime tale I used to tell you? The dog that bit? <laughs> Bless me. I used to tell you that one every night, I did. I thought it was your favourite. Before our father's fathers came down from the mountains, a warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. He grew up a fine, strong pup, destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest son. The young hound became <laughs> arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? <clears throat> when the day came, Hahaku sat proudly, waiting to be called, but the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So great was his rage that he darted across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. The chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Now, what should you carry from this tale? Mm. True. Hahaku thought nothing of abusing the tribe and their dogs, but their complaints showed the chief he could not be trusted. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave, hmm? It's a story <clears throat> worth repeating. That's all. Be off with you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. All right. Let's uh, make a save here. Give me a sec, it's a bit warm in here. Alright, let's get back to it. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. And weren't you drunk? I'm so proud of my pup's mastery of tact and diplomacy. Well, it was a lovely salon, from what little I remember. <laughs> Which wouldn't be much, considering we had to pour you into the carriage afterwards. You remember my son, Dairon. He's riding with your father tomorrow. It's good to see you again, my lord. And you? And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Perhaps we should speak some As time it alone. pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. 
You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Definitely not. Keep it that way. You've enough to do here at the castle without chasing Darkspawn. I have a bad feeling. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. All right. I love you, that. my darling boy. You know that, don't you? Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. Casually lock pick a door in my own castle. And I'm off. Can't lock pick those. Let's see here. Here we go. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Should I wait outside? Stay. I'd like to say farewell. Then the Owl's men leave. are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to behead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. Fergus will be fine. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands, and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Rice, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Yeah, you'll need more protection. I agree. Especially if you get yourself hurt. I will never forgive you. Now that is a good incentive, wouldn't you say? <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. All right. We got somebody out there. My lord, help me! The castle is under attack. All right, time to like put my clothes on. <laughs> Ah! 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 
tiny for the backstab. <laughs> oh, right way. Oh, fuck. Not good. Oh, backstab. Stun and backstab. Darling, I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? I was going to ask you that. They never got through the door, thanks to you. The scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? Uh, he's betrayed, Father. Duh. <laughs> I mean... You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. Uh, he probably We must find up. him. Uh, let's go check I'm dressed his mercy. What if the soldiers went into your brother's room first? Let's check on them quickly. Then we'll look for Bryce downstairs. This one. Yeah, not a surprise. No! My little Oren. What manner of fiend slaughters innocents? Yeah, we'll I was not even taking hostages. He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go. I don't want to see this. Oh, we leveled up. What skills do we want? To, uh, the dog. I will drive you from my land myself. Oh, 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 Give her a weapon. I have nothing else to lose. <laughs> Come to me if she hadn't been here. All right. Can you hear the fighting? Howl's men must be everywhere. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Take Don't a fight. Be foolish. Time. You would throw your life away? The front gates. That's where your father must be. 
go there. If Hal's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants' entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? All right. Don't you tell me twice. Then let us be swift. The castle has fallen! I'm getting out of here! <laughs> no, you've not. Y yes, my lord! Here... Here they come! Go down! How about you then? So everyone's just fucking dead. <laughs> of course there's more enemies. All my years of playing this game, I'm gonna figure it out. So it's, uh, if it's, uh, it's If it's programmed that every time you exit from one of these rooms, more enemies spawn, or if it's timed, I would still want to I haven't bothered to look it up. We're getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Here, darling, take my key. That blade cannot fall into Hal's hands. It should sever his treacherous head. All right. Going. Yoink.
window. The armor sets in this game look really good, but when you mix and match pieces, it just looks atrocious. Like they really didn't bother to make them look good together. There is hope yet. Going. Now let's see, which one first? Going. Oh, thanks guys, thanks for not helping. That's great. Oh, they suck at this button. Not enough! Let's do this quickly, shall we? Kill them all myself. Just waiting for that one knight. The heavy armor to show up, because he usually ruins this entire fucking intro section for me. As well as this mage in here, that usually does it to me too. Stunned. Oh, it's I'm getting fucking targeted. One at a time. Sick of all that. I do not fear death. Oh, I have nothing else to lose. Easy. Go, man the gate. Keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship, my lord, you're both alive. I was certain Hal's men had gotten through. They did. They killed Oriana and Oren. I can't believe. Are you injured? Don't worry about me, your ladyship. Thank the Maker, you two are unharmed. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hal's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. Yeah, but we need to when find When I last father. saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. All right, let's hit it. Always a bad sign when the game saves. <laughs>
Boat is fucking despawn. <laughs> Here he is, that guy. And he resisted the fucking stun. Yeah, it's alright. Whoa, that just took a shitload of my health. And I'm dead. Yep. Alright, see what Bob can do. This one out. The Pooslins will not fall to the likes of you! Alright, and a knight. Die, you fiend! Get out of my way! Take that! Damn. Oh, we got him. You did well, my dear. Perfect. It's at this end. You both are. I was. Bryce. Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. Yeah, how did you get here? Duncan. Go. Found me. Brought me here. And left you lying in your own blood? We must get you out of here! I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Mm. Then we'll drag you out. Only... if you're willing to leave pieces of me behind, pup. Bryce, this is no time for jokes! Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Yeah, House probably got right, some no. plan for him too. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. House men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan then, the Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My younger son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. Mm. Can you do something? Not here. There are too many men, and they seem as willing to kill me as they are all of you. Flight is the only option. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan. You are under no obligation to me, but I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship, but I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat 
demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. Yeah, what about Sir Gilmore? Truthfully, you were always my first choice. I will take the Tirna and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. Yeah, what if first? We will inform the King, and he will punish Hal. I'm sorry, but a Grey Warden's duties take precedence even over vengeance. Hal thinks he'll use the chaos to advance himself. Make him wrong, Pup. Bro, See that justice is done. Our family always does our duty first. The Darkspawn must be defeated. You must go. For your own sake and for Ferelden's. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. Right, yeah. Then live, darling. Become a Grey Warden and do what is right. I'm so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. And know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go now. Goodbye, darling. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. <laughs> the Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Mm. Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Yeah... about that. Death? <laughs> what do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Hal to justice. You have my word. Mm, what kind? He will hang. I know that will not bring your family back, but Hal will not profit from this. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Yeah. Not until the battle is over, yeah. I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. 
I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. Yes, yeah, as we get him. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Logan waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. You sound a little too confident. Overconfident, some would say. Yeah. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yeah, you don't sound too assured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yeah, he seems to regard Yet you not enough highly. to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. <laughs> our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Let's have a happy first. <laughs> I agree. We have until nightfall to begin the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Mm. Yeah, why is it so secret? The Joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. All right, let's get it over with. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. <laughs> there is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. <laughs> And then the game fucking crashes. That's that's fantastic. Nice. Let's try it again. Oh god. The last fucking save was that far back. Alright. We'll just blow through it. Just. Oh god, it's way back there. Shit. That's aggravating. Ball blast you! Take that! We have won this battle, but we cannot waste more time. Run, run. Make her help us all, we're gonna die! All right.
All right, let's try this let's fight again. Like shit. Because I will be doing a heavy armor dual wield rogue. Just because I have fun doing that. Alright, we're just gonna skip. Owl's men found me uh, first. Almost did me in right there. Yeah, I, here. I woke to yeah. someone mm. must reach Burgess. I am not surprised. I and I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. Our family. Hush, Bryce. All right. Boom. All right, so the end doesn't crash again. We will be traveling south. Yep. A royal. Yep. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce. Uh, boop. As soon as we are done here, I will uh, turn my. Bada bing. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Oh, bada boom. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. Uh, bada boom. Uh, ha! Eamon just wants in on the glory. Mm hmm. What the king said is true. Mm. They want so oh. and despite the victory so far, and doom. to that end we should proceed. Oh. The ritual is brief, but some oh. feel free and crash. The All right, fantastic. All right, let's get to Hail. it. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that... This place hasn't seen such bustle let's in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Let's see what this guy wants. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking for a guy named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Mm, yeah, sure. Good luck to you then. Oh, yes, yeah, right, the mages and Templars. I'm sorry. The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the fade. Uh, yeah, fine. I'm out. Because <laughs> this character. We stand here. In the Greetings, town. young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. I'm pleased to meet you. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Will you be fine? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Have you faced our spawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. 
I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Mm. Yeah. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, <laughs> others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. And what's that? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. And is it true? Oh, no, no, no. Tense me, it thanks. may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own <laughs> evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. I'll just kill every one of them. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the fade, Let's you see. shall not find so, well, you're not what I thought you'd be. And what'd you think I'd Me? be? Me? I was hoping for a comely lass with golden hair and terrible eyesight. <laughs> the name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for <laughs> our benefit. And maybe they did. Just to give us a good scare? No, they don't really seem the type. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Maybe they will. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Forcing you to be here? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. How do you do? Oh, you and I'm off. Hey, quartermaster. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Can't say I have. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or buy the maker up. Ah, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find them myself. All right, I see what you Arms got. and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of mm. course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> so right. long as you keep it quiet. Sell all this shit. I forgot that I have all these DLC items just in my inventory, like this. Should be enough. Ah, that's right, the tranquil. That cool. Welcome, young man. Uh, who are you? I am one of the tranquil, my friend. 
I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Why do you speak so strangely? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Uh, it's powerful and dangerous. It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Mm. How our so forehead made, is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. Oh, okay. Of course. What may I assist you with? <laughs> it is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Hmm. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and Lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. I'm Goodbye. About. Okay, let's see, where is Alistair? Over there. Maker above. Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your guy I wanted to talk to now beg your forgiveness. Leave. Do not abandon us in our darkest hour. Watch over Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from dark. You there, elf. What's your name? Oh, uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party is ready to begin scouting. To My respect to word we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right Welcome away, sir. to the king's camp, my lord. Talk to him. What do you need? You haven't brought more instruction from the town, I hope. Nope. If you're not from the town, what do you want? We're busy. <laughs> we aren't. We're ash warriors. Our What's training that? has been passed down since Lathias the dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the dwarves. It is an old tale. Can I hear it? I am no bard, but I will do my best. Lathias was a clan tribesman. Some said he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. His chieftain sent him to the dwarves of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance, where he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. She taught Lathias to use the dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Lathias then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. Lathias' prowess earned him the love of Morrigana, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skaia learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Lathias was grieved. He sent Morrigana away, but this only vexed her and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Lathias slew Morrigana in single combat. However, his wounds were great, and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day and gave Lathias an honored burial in the mountains. We live by his teachings, even today. Hmm. What happened to the it wife? It is said that before the final battle, she returned to Luthias and gave him a shirt of dwarven chain 
along with a final night of passion. Then she was gone forever. If she lived on in Orzammar, only the Dwarven folk could say for certain. <laughs> he was a great yeah. man with great passions. Perhaps you'll hear a more inspiring version in a tavern someday. So what do you do? We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. Then you are most fortunate. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of a city pet or, or those things that sit in an old woman's lab. Yeah, why have you painted They the use scent to distinguish us from our enemies, but the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. Yeah, but what if the enemy is? Why? Would you steal our Cadiz and give it to the Darkspawn hordes? No. Good. I hear death is unpleasant. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. There's a character I'm looking for. He's in a cage. I don't remember where he is. Soldiers of Ferelden. My sisters and gentlefolk. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it... Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Yeah. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. You have the bearing of a man who knows how to fight. If I may ask, were you a soldier before you came here? Hmm. Are you a nobleman? I am honored to be in your company, my lord. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? Yeah. Yeah. I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Ah, uh, no. I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Yeah, sure. Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Oh, you may not want to remain here long, Warden. You... you need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. That's a, not a great sign, is it? Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. Oops. All right. 
going. Hey, there he is. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you gonna think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Oh, I would have deserted eventually. Just not then. I was stealing, not sneaking out of the camp. I got one of those wizards drunk and took his key. Hmm. It belongs to a chest they got here, full of magical treasures. In fact, I still have it. I can't use it from here, but I'd trade you for some food and water. Right. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the Darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. Mm. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. He asked for some food. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. All right. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? How do I get him away from that chest? Hmm. Welcome, young man. Goodbye. That course of action. I'll find a way. All right. Oh, I apologize. I hope I wasn't disturbing you. No, nah, man, you're good. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. Mm -hmm. Good point. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. <laughs> that make your day worse? Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from High Ever. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. 
Yeah, that's fine, man. I don't give a shit. Good. You didn't exactly catch me at my finest with the mage there. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Yeah, well, can you tell me about it? Honestly, nothing. Uh, try not to worry about it. It will just distract you. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Uh, no. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Yeah, what was that about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Mm. Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. And the other recruits? Davith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Mm hmm That makes things easy, then. They'll both be back with Duncan by now. All right, let's go. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Excellent. Yuck. That course of action is inadvisable. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Mm. And the second? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. All right. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. All right. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Oh, <laughs> 
Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please, help me. I've got to return to camp. Ah, uh, yes, bandage him up. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Um, I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. Oh, come on, man. We can I still it. do not relish the thought of encountering an army. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. the fucking dark spawn blood done that was easy time to find some scrolls shortage of these ones.
skills. Okay. There's tactics. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Going. <laughs> I think we got enough dark swamp blood. Flower, white with a red center. The kennel master Ostagar was asking about those. The kennel master said this flower can help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. Might want to think about it, is all. Hmm. Yeah.
and fatigue restore on all of our characters over time in the Alistair. This way? No. Nope. Hmm. Oh, it's a great sign. Oh, I remember this bridge. Stop him. Yep. Right to the face. Let's do this quickly, shall we? You asked for it. Oh, you did. Now this will be fun. Oh, fuck. That's not great. I guess we're playing as Alistair now. Try your prayers. Like I need a injury kit. <laughs> All right. Nope, oh, you got another one. Don't look now. Jesus Christ, look at all these traps. Trap. Jesus. Little to see. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yes. Time to play.
Alright, big field. Looks like a battle spot. There they are. Never any shortage of these ones. Ah, fuck. All right. If you insist. Ah. Any last words? I will need bandaging. And I'm off. This looks like the place. Going. Well, well. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Mm. Grey Warden. It is a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you? Yes. Swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, handsome lad. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. Uh, I... And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Then who removed them? Was my mother, in fact. Can you take us to her? There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you, but then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you.
Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Do you possess a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as the others do? Hmm. You have something we need. Did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Such <laughs> manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. All right. I've always liked Flynn's character, at least in the first game. I feel like she got uh, sort of blown out of proportions into the second and third game. So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Indeed. Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Yeah, sure. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. All right, yeah. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. Yeah. As could any darkspawn you might face in battle. You would not have been chosen, however, if I did not think you had a chance to survive. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. You just fucking calm down, man. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. I mean, it's a decent point. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, 
as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. I don't think it's gonna go well. Make his breath. I am sorry, Davith. Step forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had I known There is no turning back. No, you ask too much. Th there is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Oh, yeah. Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the Darkspawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Yeah, what kind? The king is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. All right. I'm going to end the stream there, because that was a nice, solid point. We are now a Grey Warden. And we got some leveling up to do at the next point. So, uh, peace out. See you next time.